There's been some discussion about whether a race car pedal is really hard or not, and whether it has a long travel or not. Uh, for sure, if we are talking a NASCAR or rally car and, or a go-kart, there are variances. But in general, race car pedals are hard and they are short. I do admit that I have used terminologies like pushing a rock. And for those of you who don't know me that well, I try to exaggerate to bring my points across. Of course, it's not like pushing a rock, literally, but they are hard. And you can see the Forte pedals here. Yeah, I mean, it's hard. I have to use force, but that's how they are. And the reason for that is because it's actually the user's legs and muscles that creates the pressure on the brake disc. Unless you have, um, a, 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 what's the English word, um, a brake booster. And most race cars don't. So have I tried every race car in the world? No but I've raced GT3 cars, I've raced road cars. Road cars is a different animal. I've raced formula cars. Uh, I've actually been inside the, the Pagani Waira uh, several times. My son actually drove it uh, at Paul Ricard recently because I have a friend who's uh, privileged enough to actually own one. Uh, this morning, uh, I actually checked out my Ferrari, uh, my F458, which I love. And when I pushed the brake, I was actually a little, little bit disappointed. Like, oh, how can I preach at the performance car? I actually have a hard brake, and I didn't really remember it like that. Turn the engine on, brake pressure on, and the pedal is hard, rock hard. So I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to stick to my guns that a race brake pedal should be hard and soft. Uh, but then there are these guys, you know, posting all these Facebook, uh, or sorry, YouTube videos. Uh, I think most of them have never dri driven anything else than a tuned street car or is uh, trying to upgrade their brakes in their garage. But I think what you have to be careful with when you watch something on YouTube is most race cars will get brake fading during a race. It will get hot, that will get air in the system. Uh, at least the race cars that I'm familiar with, we always break or bleed the brakes uh, at least once a day because they'll simply get air in them. And when you get air in, it will turn soft. It will be longer. As the brake pads are worn, sometimes it will get longer. If the brake fluid gets really hot, it will get longer. So be careful to judge too much uh, off of YouTube. Um, in terms of Formula One, uh, that is a different animal entirely. I don't know if you remember, but a couple of years uh, ago, Kimi Raikkonen was actually struggling quite a bit with the brakes all of a sudden. So why was that? That's because he came from something that was uh, pretty hard, rock hard, and then all of a sudden they changed to brake by wire, which is an electronic system. So it could basically be like uh, a throttle. And then uh, you know the electronic will actually communicate with the server that will then make the brake pressure. So in Formula One, everybody that I know of have kind of changed to this brake by wire system. And therefore, you have a tendency to see in Formula One that the brakes are actually a little bit softer and a little bit longer travel. Un unlike, for example, Formula Two or Formula Three, which is old school, hard uh, and, and, uh, and, and uh, short. But just to round this off on the brakes, uh, last time Kevin was here in the simulator, it was, of course, not just a, st a steering wheel. We also talked about the Formula One brake. And what turned out was that with our uh, I believe it was the white, either the black or white elastomer and the long travel kit on the Invicta that we will launch soon. To use his own words, he said, okay, now it feels pretty close to a Formula One car. So for those of you who don't know, who, who think that we don't know what we are talking about, I'm not saying that you are not right or I'm wrong or you are right or the other way. What I'm saying is we have a Formula One driver here telling us that it feels pretty close to a Formula One car. So I don't have the opportunity to drive an F1 car myself, so I choose to trust him instead.